Foundry. One of the mods that I could not live without, that I have had since um, the very beginning, when I first started on Foundry, uh, is Quick Insert. I love Quick Insert. It is a search tool that allows you to access your compendiums, which are uh, basically Foundry's way of storing information uh, outside of your current game that you can grab and sort of bring into the game. Um, this is similar to Roll20's way of storing things, uh, which is the transmog uh, system. And um, originally, I felt that transmog was still a little bit stronger, um, but nowadays, I definitely stand by um, Quick Insert and the Foundry Compendium system. I think that it's way more flexible, especially once you put in the work to get it set up. Um, it just becomes like a much faster, um, better way of accessing that archived information. You definitely want to be using compendiums in your games uh, because at the end of the day, um, this is all web accessed and web hosted content. So even if you're doing this on your own server and your server is just a powerhouse beast mode super machine with the most amazing internet connection in the whole world, the more things you have in your active foundry game, uh, the more taxing it is going to be for everyone who's accessing that stuff. And remember that not everybody has the same super badass computer that you do. So some of your players might be on their work laptop because they're traveling, or they might be visiting a relative and borrowing their much less performance uh, enhanced machine. They could just be a normal person that wants to play some online D&D, and they don't have a super badass gaming computer. Um, so not even getting started on connectivity, right? Are they staying at a hotel or a friend's place and they don't have good internet? Or do they just live in an area that has slow internet connection? The less things you have stored in your game, the better that game is going to run. Uh, for example, this is my Odyssey game. Currently, I have chapters 8 and 9. Uh, my party is in chapter 8. And I am preparing for them to enter Chapter 9. I don't have Chapters 1 through 7 available anymore. They have all been archived. This is a huge campaign. Hundreds of maps. Thousands of NPCs and monsters. So many items. So much stuff. I can't keep it all um, in my active game. Or no one will ever be able to like do anything. The loading times for everything will be insane. Initial logins will take forever. Um, God forbid somebody have to refresh their foundry in the middle of a battle. Who knows how long it's going to take for them to load it back up. So it is very important to be using these compendiums. So the compendiums are located over here. Um, I use uh, Flex UI, so mine looks like an adorable little spell book. And um, I have all sorts of interface tools that make my stuff look really cute and really pretty. This is more Flex UI action over here. And as we go through... You can see that um, there are compendiums to store your actors, there are compendiums to store your items, compendiums to store your macros, um, on and on and on and on. Scenes, and then the scenes are full of stuff. Some of those scenes, like Austin Wald Maps by Tom Cartos, this is an entire town. Um, every single area in the town already lit and ready to go. You can just drag this over to your scenes tab, have a scene ready to go. It's fantastic. Um, none of these things are eating up my resources because they are currently stored somewhere else. So that's compendiums. Compendiums are great. So why is quick insert so great? Quick insert is great because I can use the hotkeys to bring up the quick insert interface and a little field appears here. I start typing and maybe I am looking for um, a giant. So I'm gonna type giant and I get giant elk, giant fly, giant frog giant bat, giant badger, um, and so on and so forth. I get information about uh, giants. These are journal entries. The little person means that these are actors. If I go here, I get a spell. I get a race. I keep going through. There's a giant shark. There's a giant boar. All this good stuff. But I'm actually looking for a giant, like an, an opponent, right? A uh, fire giant. So I'm going to type fire giant. And look at this, all the fire giants that I made for my Against the Giant um, adventure series, I threw them into the compendium when that series was over, so now I can access this fire giant skeleton, fire giant overseer, fire giant 
Houndmaster. I don't have to make these monsters all over again. If I need them in a pinch, I can just go in here, grab them, uh, drag them out, and they're ready to go. And when I drag them out onto the scene, it does also add them to the list of actors available for the scene, so I can keep dragging out more and more and more uh, copies of them if I need them. Uh, quick insert is amazing, but it doesn't stop there as far as being amazing. So let's say that I have a hero. This hero is Anastasia. All right. And I got Anastasia here, and Anastasia wants to add a new spell to their spellbook. So I go to the spellbook tab, I do quick insert, and I look for the spell they want to add, which is a Meteor Swarm. And then I just drag Meteor Swarm from quick insert over to their character sheet, and they're done. Uh, maybe back in town, they wanted to buy some more rations. I could just quick insert, look for rations, and drag those over. Wabam! rations have been added to their character sheet it's that easy to just go and grab what you need drag it in drop it and you're done but there's still more it still gets better so let's say uh in chat that um i wanted to link to something so the party is like so we're poisoned again wait what does poison do i don't remember i can go over to chat and i can do uh the quick insert hockey and I could type poisoned. I could grab the poisoned condition journal entry and then hit enter. And now there's a clickable link in chat that they can click on and it will open up that journal entry so they can be reminded, oh yeah, that's what poison does. Cool, 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 cool. But that is not all that quick insert can do. In addition to searching for things that make it drag and droppable and all that good noise, um, it can also search for scenes uh, so if we need a particular scene, we can have that. So if I go over to my scenes tab, and I do quick insert, and I look for a tavern. So I type in tavern. I can go through here, and we have so many options. Look at all these different taverns that are showing up. Um, here we've got tavern brawl ground floor. So I'm going to drag that over here. And then I'm going to go to that scene. And boom. We have a tavern, uh, which is apparently in the middle of a brawl. Um, <laughs> potted plants have been knocked over. Windows have been broken. Uh, this comes in from the compendium with doors already enabled, uh, walls already enabled, lights already enabled. Um, this map is good to go. We could immediately start dropping people on here. So I could go in here and go grab a commoner. And start filling the place up with people. Uh, just from the compendium. Maybe there's some thugs causing trouble in here. I can go and grab some thugs. Throw them in here. And just start populating this entire scene. I needed a tavern for a brawl fight. How long has this taken me, right? A couple of minutes to go ahead and just have a tavern that's already set up. With lights, with lighting, with walls. Um, and with some NPCs thrown in there. Just like that. But it's not done yet. In addition to all the other things I showed you, what if we're making uh, a cool magic item? So I'm going to go to this tutorial folder. I'm going to make a new magical item. And we're going to create this ring of flames. And in here, we're going to say, once you attune to this ring, you can use charges to cast the following spells. Okay, and then, I don't know, we'll just make something up, like, we'll say, uh, zero charges uh, allows you to cast Firebolt, so what we'll do is we'll hit the quick insert button, and we'll type in Firebolt, and we'll go and grab Firebolt, and then we'll say one charge, uh, and then we'll put, uh, what's this, this is, this is a good one, uh, Burning Hands. And then we'll put in uh, two charges. And they could do a fireball. All right, and then we save it out. And look at that. Now, when they're looking at this magical item and they see firebolts, they can click on it and it will open up the firebolt item so that we can see what it does without having to put all the information 
into this dialog box. So it's really, really cool. Um, quick insert, one of my absolute favorite must-have mods for Foundry.